investors and traders, and welcome to the weekly market report with the market guys. I'm AJ Monti. This is a three year weekly chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, ticker symbol DIA. And the reason I'm starting off with the weekly chart is because I'd like to show you how to draw fan lines and how to use them as pullback points or at least areas of support where you could manage your risk. Now, what we're experiencing here is something that's very unusual. We've had a very long bull market, as you might have already guessed, and this is the second longest bull market in the history of the stock market. Now, when I hear that, immediately I'm thinking, well, with every historic bull market, we've always had a historic pullback after the bull market. So in other words, every single bull market usually comes to an end, and when it does, we get massive selling. So the fan lines come into play in showing us the acceleration of the upward trend. So if I take this low, connect it to this low, and then project out to that low, and I move that out, that could be taken as a long-term upward trend. But if I take the most recent point here, connect that to here, and maybe even here, you'll see that my fan line is now accelerated in a steeper angle to the upside. Now if I continue this with the last point here connected to this low, this low, and project out, you can see another more accelerated trend or fan line. And finally, if I take this line here and, and connect those lows, there's your fan. Now on the Market Guys website in the video tab, you'll find that the first video you'll come to is a video that shows you how to draw these fan lines. Now, why is this important? Well, when fan lines accelerate to this level, we have steeper angles at the final end of that fan. And let's face it, markets are not able to sustain vertical moves for very long. So these fan lines become risk points for us in areas where we can set our stops. So in other words, if you're along the market and you want to protect a long position, you would put a stop down here under that fan line, or you might put one down here in that fan line. When a fan line starts to break, usually it'll continue to follow to the second fan line from the top. And so that's what I'm forecasting for the next weeks that follow. I do not think that we can keep this vertical action going much longer and therefore we become very defensive. So that's the diamonds. Now if I look at the Russell 2000 on a weekly chart, you can see the same thing. Here's a support level connected to there, to there projecting out. You got the first fan line. If I go here and accelerate that to this low, you have another fan line, and I could even go so far to draw a more accelerated line right there. So there we have three accelerated trends within the fan. And if I zoom in, you can see that the Russell 2000 is also at risk of breaking down below that first fan line, second fan line, following ultimately to this support level on that fan line. So I'm going to leave these on as long as I can. I mean, Monday, as I'll tell you here shortly, Monday we have an open house, and a lot of times I use these charts to reference the market, and sometimes I erase the lines. I try to keep them as long as I can. But this is a weekly chart, so again, I'll try my best to keep those fan lines in place. Now, if I go ahead and look at the Qs, so NASDAQ market, QQQ, you can see that the trend line here, the first trend, would start at this low, project here, and move out. And then, again, accelerating the fan from this most recent point to these lows and projecting out. And then, finally, from here, projecting to here. Now, interesting thing about the Qs, if I zoom in, is that we have a long series of weekly green candles right there. That's seven green candles in a row. That's also known as a stale green light. Now, for the NASDAQ, you can see that the volume is accelerating. So we might get maybe one or two more green candles before this fan line starts to uh, be broken. And eventually, I think that it could break to this one first. It might even get a little bit of a bounce before going on to the next fan line. But that's my forecast for, for the Qs. Finally, the Spiders is the last of the major indices. You can see, again, I'll do this quickly for you, from that low to this low projecting out, and again, accelerating that 
here, second point accelerating that, and then here, this low accelerating it almost vertically. So that's what the spiders look like, S&P 500. Again, we have a stale green light here. We could very well start to see the pullback in those fan lines as well. And finally, the VIX, VIX. So volatility index, and you can see here, I, last week I talked about how this is a 20-year chart of the VIX. We're on the historic lows for the VIX, and we're hovering right at that level. That is an important piece of information because the VIX is a contrarian indicator. So if the VIX is hovering on the lows, it means we are reaching a market top. Again, this is a 20-year chart of the VIX. If I zoom and go into the daily chart, you'll see, okay, I have my lines in there from last week. I said that we would start to move up in the VIX, and we have. But I think that the VIX could start to accelerate in this upward direction, which again tells us that the S&P is in a bearish state, or at least a bearish top that could be forming right here. So that's how we read the VIX as a leading indicator opposite to the S&P or contrarian to the S&P 500 index. Now this coming Monday, even though it's President's Day and the markets are going to be closed, we are having an open house Q&A at 8 p.m. on the 20th. So we are inviting the public to attend. All you have to do to register is go to www.themarketguides.com. That's our page right here. Scroll down and you'll see the registration link right there for February 20th at 8 p.m. Click on that link. It'll bring you to the registration page. All you have to do is put your name and email address in. It'll give you a reminder. And then we'll get started immediately as the clock hits 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Really looking forward to that. It's a very fun time that we have each and every week. Action-packed. I'll analyze your stocks, answer your questions, and then we'll go on to our merry way trading for the rest of the shortened week. So have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you on Monday. So long. For almost three decades, A.J. Monty has motivated audiences worldwide about creating personal wealth and winning in business. His time-tested risk management strategies focus on ideas that involve a keep it super simple approach, also known as the KISS principle. These concepts have been delivered to people in over 16 countries around the world, reaching audiences in the millions. AJ is a best-selling author of two books, The Market Guy's Five Points for Trading Success and Take Charge of Your Money Now, both of which have been featured on PBS Television, Fox Business News, ABC TV, as well as Sirius Money Radio. As a financial educator and consultant, he has worked with some of the most recognized names in the financial industry. Companies like Bank of America, Charles Schwab, E-Trade Financial, Scotiabank, and TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim. If you have ever been challenged with having to make a tough decision regarding when to buy or sell a stock, then help is on the way. The Options Oracle and Equity Oracle Alert Services are designed to help you make those tough decisions. AJ will not only help you find the best trade candidates, but he will also lay out the exit strategy for each position in an easy to understand format that anyone can follow. Hi, my name is AJ Monty, Chief Market Strategist for The Market Guys. For almost 30 years, I've traded stocks, options, futures, and even currencies. I've traveled the world teaching people just like you how to profit in the market using time-tested strategies that focus on risk management. You see, the secret to making money in the market depends on your ability to limit losses when you're wrong. In other words, if you want to make a lot of money in the market, don't lose a lot of money in the market. Now that may sound funny, but it's true. Most investors are challenged with two questions. The first question is, how do you find a good stock? Well, the best way to find the right stock starts with eliminating all of the stocks you would not invest in. This process of elimination is called stock screening. And our services help you overcome the odds so you're putting your money where the money is going. We're simply following the trends. The second question most people ask of me is, when is it time to sell? Well, if you don't have an answer to this question, then you might find yourself in a position where you're holding on to your stocks when things go against you. This is the worst thing you could possibly do because I believe this is no longer a buy and hold market. It has evolved into a buy and protect market. Holding on and hoping for things to get better is not a strategy. In fact, 
Doing this will eventually lead you to a catastrophic loss, and you wouldn't want that. Our trade alert services help answer these two questions. Not only will I help you find the right trade candidate, but I'll also show you how to use the charts to manage risk. I don't use the charts to predict the future. I use them to protect the future. The charts tell me when it's time to get out as well as when it's time to get in. And that's what I'd like to teach you as well. We have two services, the Equity Oracle and the Options Oracle. The Equity Oracle is an alert service for traders who would like to trade only equities, whereas the Options Oracle is our premier alert service for both equity and option traders. Each alert is laid out in an easy to understand format that shows charts depicting entry and exit points. Risk management is our cornerstone of each service, so you don't have to struggle with the decision of when to get out or when a trade goes against you, when should I take my loss? The strategy is to use the KISS principle, keeping it super simple. As a bonus, you'll have access to a live Q&A session as well, each and every month. This is where you can submit a stock symbol, and I will analyze these stocks while we discuss the best trading strategies for each position. And it gets better. In addition to the alert service and the live monthly Q&A sessions, we're also developing a member page that will include instructional videos about how to get the most out of our service. Without question, this is the best trade alert service available on the market, and we look forward to having you as our newest subscriber. Simply click on the link below to subscribe. It's easy. Once again, I'm AJ Monty, Chief Market Strategist for the Market Guys. Thanks for watching. Enrolling in the service is easy. Simply click on the link below to subscribe, and your weekly alert will be delivered right to your email box. And if you act now, we will include AJ's best-selling book, The Market Guy's Five Points for Trading Success. This is a first-time offer that will get you on the road to success and keep you there. Remember, if you continue to do what you've always done, things will never change. Positive results will only come after you've taken the first step in the right direction. We look forward to having you as our newest member.